I'm Elsie Hedgespeth, and for this week's Move It Monday, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your arm workout. So whether you realize it or not, most of the time when we are doing arm exercises like bicep curls, shoulder press, tricep extensions, all sorts of those things, um, our body finds ways to cheat and make it easier for us. Therefore, we're not getting the, the work and the maximum impact we can on the muscles that we're trying to work. And for me, being a busy working mom, I don't like to waste my time. So if I'm actually gonna take the time to work out, I wanna make sure that I am getting the full benefit possible from the exercises that I'm trying to do. So let me show you um, how we can do that for the three exercises that I mentioned. We're gonna do some shoulder press, we're going to do tricep extension and bicep curls. And actually, it's gonna look like we're making it a lot easier, but we're actually going to do some things to really isolate the muscles and make it to where our legs aren't helping us, our back isn't helping us. We're really just going to be focusing on the muscles that I said we're going to work. So first things first, let's work on um, shoulder press. And I realize that if the floor isn't accessible to you or perhaps a move like this is going to hurt your knees, you can always do all of these seated in a chair, okay? But even by splitting our stance, one leg in front, one leg in back, for our shoulder press, it's going to take a lot of the um, lower body help out of the move, okay? So you're going to split your stance, tummy tight. I've got medium to heavy weights here. For shoulder press, elbows are going to begin and end here, okay? They're not gonna come low and they're not gonna come any higher to start and end the work, all right? So tummy tight, shoulders down and back. Exhale as you push up and let's go for 12. 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So even just by splitting my stance and taking it down to my knees, I really felt the isolation in my shoulders because I wasn't recruiting a lot of other muscle groups just to make it easier for me, okay? So that's one way that you can really accommodate and isolate when you're trying to work your shoulders. Let's do some bicep curls. So same thing, you're going to take it to your knees. Again, if the floor isn't accessible to you, these can be done seated in a chair, okay? You are, I don't know if you can see here. I'm not all the way on the edge of my chair and I'm not all the way back because when we sit all the way back, we kind of have a tendency to slump. So scoot a little bit away. I still want your core engaged and you're gonna be bicep curling like this, okay? However, if you can get down, if that is accessible to you, I'd much rather prefer to see you do this on your knees, okay? So knees about hip width apart, and this is gonna take a lot of the help from your back and your lower body out of it. So you may find if you do bicep curls this way, you may not be going as heavy on the weight as what you normally can because you're really isolating the biceps, all right? So let's go for 10 on this. Shoulders down and back. Ready? Here we go. Exhale on the way up. One, two, full curl. Three, core tight. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, last one here, 10. Okay, so that makes it a little bit more difficult because you really are honing in on the biceps there. Oftentimes in the gym, this is my favorite thing. You'll see people really recruiting a lot of muscles and swaying just to get that, that bicep curl in you're not really working your biceps if you're having to sway that much, okay? 
So taking it down to the knees, you're taking that motion out of it and uh, thus really working the muscles that you're supposed to be working. Tricep extension. You can do this with both weights or just one. Um, you can do this seated on the floor. Okay, cross-legged. Again, if this isn't accessible to you, if this isn't comfortable to you, don't do it this way, get up in a chair. I'll actually do this one up in a chair, okay? So for this, again, not quite on the edge of my seat, but not all the way back, okay? Feet, knees at a 90 degree angle here, sitting up nice and tall, grabbing the large ends of my weight, extend fully overhead, we're bending at the elbows, lowering the weight behind our head, extending all the way up, okay? A couple things to note here, try and keep the shoulders down and the elbows in, all right? Let's go for 12. Good, 12, 11, core tight, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So again, by either sitting in the chair and sitting up tall or sitting cross-legged on the floor, you're really isolating those triceps and working the muscles that you're supposed to be working rather than engaging your back muscles. Because honestly, what our bodies do there is they say, hey, this exercise is kind of difficult. And so we're recruiting or trying to recruit muscle fibers from different groups to assist us to get the move done. And that's not effective if you're trying to train your biceps or triceps or shoulders. So if you've enjoyed this and you want more content and tips, please tune back in for more Move It Monday content on the Urbana Park District Facebook page and YouTube channel. Thanks for joining.